Vasara nemažai lietuvių vyksta į Rygą. Apsilankius ten verta užsukti ir į vietos knygynus, kurių čia yra išties išskirtinių. Atrinkome penkis knygynus, kuriuos verta aplankyti Rygoje ir pakalbėjome su jų atstovais. Mr. Page knygynas išsiskiria įspūdingų interjerų ir kruopščiai atrinktomis knygomis. Vienas keistesnių išskirtinumo knygas galima vartyti tik užsidėjus šią lankytojams duodamas pirštinės. Priežastis – knyginė parduodamiems kūrinėms, taikomas ir įdomaus dizaino reikalavimas. Nemažai knygų atrodo kaip meno kūriniai. Knygos čia sudėtos be aiškesnio kategorizavimo ir knygino pardavėjus apie kiekvieną iš jų gali iš samiai papasakoti. Vienu metu knyginė būna apie 680 knygų. Nemažai knygų anglų kalba ir čia galima rasti ir kūrinių, kurių kitur vargų ar bus. Nuo knygų apie meną, architektūrą iki grožinės kūrybos ar alternatyvėje kultūra. Beje, vakarai šia vyksta įvairius renginėjai, susijėjimai, parduodama kava ar vynas. Įdomu išties apsilankyti ten vien dėl estetinių poterių. Mūsų įsitą su mūsų vėstų vėstų. Uh, both of us were super keen on visiting bookstores uh, all over the world, wherever we uh, travel. And we were actually waiting for somebody else to open a place uh, uh, of such uh, kind somewhere in Riga, but nobody did. <laughs> so we started to do it by ourselves and uh, this is the result we got. Uh, we got. Uh, the main idea was to Uh, basically recreate the book selling and buying culture in Latvia, uh, not only in Latvia, just as such. And uh, we wanted to put uh, back magic into it, because you know, in, uh, usually when you go to bookstore, you either already know what you need, or, or you are uh, straightforward just asking for a shop assistant, uh, where is your uh, theme you are looking for, or you are already interested in. And, uh, and the people usually working in bookstores cannot uh, tell you about uh, all the books they have. And uh, yeah, we wanted to put back magic into it and, and wanted to create uh, a place where the time slows down and that uh, going to the bookstore is like a, like a little ritual, like a little adventure. And so we created this place, what's so special and different about it. Uh, there is no division by themes, everything is just mixed and matched together and uh, we can tell you every, well, not everything, but what's so special about each and every one of these books, about all of them. We don't have maybe as many as other bookstores have, but uh, the content here is super, super carefully curated. We are, uh, we are buying and, and looking uh, for books all over the world from very different publishing houses all over the world and uh, and bringing uh, here the best we have found and we are choosing them by two criteria uh, exceptionally uh, good content and exceptionally well uh, cover design because books as such are objects that we are bringing into our own private spaces um, so Do we realize it or not? Uh, they become also a part of our interiors, a part of our habitats. So, uh, in a way, they serve also as interior objects. So, we want to also push local uh, publishing houses to think about the way they design books as well, because it's like overstepping the tail of the dog, you know. <laughs> And <laughs> time after time, people somehow either not pay uh, too much attention to it or don't want to invest in it, but we, we find it is important and that's why all the books here are not only great, but also beautiful. Not to buy cats and bags, basically. As I already told you, we are buying uh, one or two exemplars of uh, each title. And uh, we don't believe books should be wrapped in those plastic wrappers. We want everybody uh, to be able to look through every single book, no matter the price. Uh, in other bookstores, uh, especially such like big, huge books, uh, which cost up and over 100 euro, you will always find in plastic wrappers. And basically, you don't, you cannot uh, even look inside what's in it. You just. Uh, read the extract and then you have to decide. We were against this, uh, so we better introduce the little white gloves because we want our people to find their best, best matches from the book world and uh, 
be totally sure of uh, what they will be getting for that money they are uh, leaving here. So. Well, there are two big groups, uh, locals, mostly 25 and up. A lot of uh, this community, uh, local community coming to us, uh, those are our uh, loyal customers, the most frequent ones. And then we have a, a place where people look for, for discoveries from the book world. They know that if they want a special book, this is the place where they can find it. So uh, that regards also people who are not living here near, they are coming specially to us. And then we have also Riga's visitors. This is like uh, uh, our, this uh, little shop is like our present to ourselves and also to Riga and, uh, and its uh, locals as well as visitors. So, yeah. Oh, Mr. Page! <laughs> So Mr. Page is actually the guy who is like running the place. <laughs> we are all his uh, right hands, as if I, if I may put, so, put it so. But uh, yeah, but the title actually became like that because uh, partially because of the paper, page as a page in in a book, uh, and also because of the rock and roll because. Uh, us creators are more or less rock and roll people, <laughs> so it all went uh, closely together in this title. Šis knygynas reiškinys Rygos alternatyvoje kultūroje. Tai toli gražu ne tik knygynas, patys į kurie jį mėliau vadina laboratorija. Tačia nuolatos vyksta paskaitos, performansai, parodos knygų pristatymai, veikia baras, tai undergroundinės kultūros atstovų susirinkimo vieta, kurie bent jau besidomintis kreivesnė literatūra tikrai yra bendraminčių. Knygų pasirinkimas čia išties įdomus. Knygino savininkai atrenka eksperimentinę filosofinę literatūrą, kurios retai rastė didesniuose knyginuose. Jiems svarbu ir knygos susijusio su menu populiariosios literatūros čia vargu ar užtiksite. Yra knygų latvių, rusų ir anglų kalbomis. Ir savininkai mėlai patars, kokią įdomią knygą išsirinkti, o atityje ir patys kitina imtis leidybos. Idėja yra įdomiausiai bookshopą, kuriuose įdomiausiai You can find them anywhere else in Riga, like in Russian bookshops or in Latvian bookshops, you cannot. And uh, here we have uh, the art books and uh, philosophy, like the general fiction, different kind of literature. Yeah, just literature we love. When we opened this bookshop four years ago, we, we We felt the lack of, uh, we, we feel the need of, uh, of such a place because mm -hmm. uh, any, in a, uh, any other place you cannot find the books we, we, we are looking for, we were looking for. So that, that, that's that. Now we have the place here. It's a bar for friends and then a bookshop for everyone and uh, there every like second Today here happens some lectures, or concerts, some talks, uh, workshops, uh, book openings, presentations, I don't know, discussions, um, different kind of activities related to culture, related to, I don't know, alternative worldview. World view. Sure, we, we see this crisis coming here as well, but uh, like it depends on person, it depends on the uh, strut of society from where you are, uh, if uh, books is, uh, are still valued. Uh, anyway, for many people books are, uh, don't mean nothing much more uh, anymore, but for myself and for my friends uh, books mean something a lot, uh, like you cannot uh, Uh, substitute books for something else like uh, uh, internet or I don't know some entertainment different uh, entertainment uh, books are not just entertainment books are something very unique mm -hmm.
Roberts Books turbūt yra pirmojo pasirinkimo knyginas Rigoje tiems, kas ieško knygų anglų kalba. Rigos centre esančiame knyginė rasite jau skaitytų knygų įvairiomis temomis. Yra čia kelionių politikos ekonomikos knygų, taip pat yra nemažas ir grožinių knygų pasirinkimas. Knygino darbuotojai jums parekomenduos, kokius latvių rašytų įvertimus skaityti. Kaip ir daugelis mažesnių knyginų Rigoje, Roberts Books taip pat yra erdėvėjas sustikimams, bendravimui. Ir šiltesnių metų laiku labai vėliojantis yra jų jaukus kiemas vakariniams pasisidėjimams aptrent knygas. The bookshop is 10 years old as a, as a bookshop, but it has had changed three times its place and now in this location it's for five years already. It's many English books, but lately we get a lot of German books as well and French ones. So, uh, but uh, it all started as a second-hand English bookshop. I wouldn't say that there is such a most popular thing, but of course, like general fiction, what uh, uh, daily reads for people for for entertainment and. Uh, of course, a lot of people also coming in uh, to find books which are more like um, uh, educational uh, about different topics. And um, as we are a second-hand bookshop, so we get uh, really a lot different types of varieties of topics. It's also a community place, of course, because as my friend said, how many books can we buy and maybe sell better coffee and beer as well. So then we can come in every day. So that's what I, uh, we try to do. Uh, not like such a drastically that you say book sales going down because we still are more like a um, must visit tourist place as well. And uh, when tourists are traveling, we, it's, it's pretty seasonal for us because tourists are about making half of our income. So when the tourist season is on, then there are a lot of uh, a lot more income and a lot more customers. When people come in and they are uh, visiting a different country and different city, they understand that it's an independent place. So they are willing to donate something and uh, just buying one, two books for, for, for sake that we could uh, live on. Well, we are happy that recently Latvian literature has started translating uh, and organizing translation of Latvian works and uh, yeah, lately, uh, starting from the last year, finally we have some authors in, in English, uh, Latvian authors. The most popular is Nordic and Soviet you know. Jeigu jums svarbus nebūtikiniai alternatyviai knyginai, o esmė didelis knygų pasirinkimas, bestselleriai, turbūt geriausias pasirinkimas senamistyje esantis Valteras un Rapa knyginas. Per kelis aukštus įsidėstis knyginas turi įdomę šimečią senumo istoriją. Knygino užuomasgos buvo vietos intelektualų susijimai. Nuo to laiko daug kas keitėsi ir dabar čia daugybės skyrių, daugybės tematikų knygos. Taip pat įvairios su knygomis susijusios prekės. Yra čia knygų Latvijoje ir rusų kalbomis, knygų anglų kalbos skyrius galbūt ir nėra labai įspūdingas, tačiau kūrinių apie Latviją ar bestsellerių raste. Šis tinklas turi kelis knyginus Rigoje, tačiau labiausiai verta užsukti į centrį esantį vieną didžiausių knyginų Baltijos šalise. This bookstore has been opened uh, since 1912. So it's the oldest bookstore in Riga, and this one is the biggest one. Uh, no, but we have like millions of different kind of types of products. Uh, it's <laughs> very complicated to say at the moment. In general, yes, the sales for books uh, are uh, going down every year. But we have uh, it much more risen the popularity of Latvian authors, new Latvian original works, and lots of tourists come here and ask for translations. So for uh, Latvian and I think also for Baltic authors, it's, it's, it's going well. Uh, we have different authors, but I think one that in general uh, could be Mar Zalit. It's been re-issued uh, re many times and now the translations are in many, many languages. Uh, it's complicated for to say it in general because uh, last year we had a hundred celebration. Of course, it was all full of non-fiction books and it was uh, 
all the bestsellers because it was 100 of Latvia and this and 100 years of this history in that sense and that sense. So it was all pretty much uh, non-fiction, all my, more history and things like that. But uh, mm, for us, I think that uh, fiction is still staying strong. Uh, yes, we tr uh, we have to fill uh, more of the space with other things that can catch uh, customers' eye, like you see toys, uh, new our new selection here, and 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 many things. When people come to bookshops, they most pretty m most time want to buy like a gift or something, and then we try to find some things that you can buy with the book or or something like that. So it's not only a bookstore, but a lot more than that. Dar vienas bendresnės literatūros knyginas pačioje Rygos Sanamiščio širdyje, kuriame didelis knygų pasirinkimas. Jame galbūt nėra retesnės literatūros, tačiau čia yra išties neblogas knygų kitomis kalbomis skyriaus. Tai yra viena iš jų specializacijos kreipčių. Taip pat čia yra meno lydinių kažkiek knygų iš antrų rankų, kelionių vadovų žodynų klasikinės literatūros. Antame aukšte yra ir kavinė, kurioje sėdėdami galite pavartyti pasirinktas knygas ir nuspręsti, ką iš jų pirkti. Bent jau knygino atstovai giresi, kad čia yra geriausia kava Rygoje. Globus historically always has been more selling books in relations with foreign literature, particularly English and educational books as well. So we do sell a lot of English books, art books, history books, and particularly classics and fiction and non-fiction. We do sell Latvian books as well, which are always been the newest ones and trying to keep up with the dates. And uh, yeah, the foreign literature is our specialty. Twelve rules, uh, Obama becoming, the subtle art of um, not giving, eh? so what other ones would be. Uh, milk and Honey is very popular, it's a poetry, and Factfulness, so those would be the, almost the top ten. I would say mostly peop younger people, the younger generation and a lot of tourists, but particularly the ones who are looking mostly for non-fiction books would be the reader we would be targeting. Young adults. A lot more about uh, learning about business and uh, self-esteem, self-improvement. Self we do, and that's something we're just developing. It's just trying to get into a little mini book club 